what is it that grieves the heart of Christ? Hello there, this is Pastor Pete Pavelic. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of The Daily Devo. We're going to be in Mark chapter 3 today as you turn there in your Bible. Let me remind you about my website, Pastor Pete. Dot O-R-G. I also today want to do something I rarely do, and maybe I should do it more often. I want to welcome Anna. Anna signed up as one of our Patreons yesterday to help support this ministry, help us to continue to be able to get God's Word out to God's people all over the world through the Daily Devo and other means. And so we're thankful for Anna. I'm thankful for the other 15 Patreons who uh, also help us. I'm not going to list them all by name. Some of them might be a little upset if I said their names. I won't even say it, but I appreciate you. We could not do it without the 16 of you. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon, you can do that actually right here on Podbean. If you're listening on the Podbean app, there's a Patreon button, or you can look down in the show notes, find a link to go over and learn more about how you can support us for as little as $5 a month. And there are other levels moving up from there. Today in Mark chapter three, I read this But they were silent after looking around at them with anger. He was grieved at the hardness of their hearts and told the man, stretch out your hand. So he stretched it out and his hand was restored. What grieves the heart of Christ? A hard heart, a callous heart, a heart that has no room to see the pain and the suffering and the needs of people around them. Here Jesus is in the middle of a synagogue, a church, if you will, not not exactly a church, but we'll call it a church, a place where religious people are. They're supposed to be worshiping God, praising God, bringing honor and glory to God. And here is a man who needs help. And Jesus is offering to help him, but he knows they're trying to trick him. He knows it's the Sabbath. He knows that if he helps on the Sabbath, he's going to be in big trouble. And so Jesus asks them a question. He says, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath or to do evil, to save life or to kill? And they don't want to answer because they're trying to trap Jesus. It makes him angry. And then he's grieved at the hardness of their hearts. Man, I pray my heart isn't hard. It's easy to get a hard heart in this old world. It's easy to become callous to the needs of others because we have so many needs ourselves. It's easy to overlook other people and their pain and their suffering because we're in the middle of our own pain and suffering or because there's so much going on in our lives that we just forget and we become hard to the needs of others. I pray today you have a soft heart, a pliable heart, a heart that brings honor and glory to the Lord. Why don't you make that your prayer today as you begin or as you end, or maybe you're in the middle of your day. Just pray, Lord, give me a soft heart. Give me a heart that can see. Give me ears that can hear. Give me a heart that can be used by you. Man, I don't want to grieve the heart of Jesus. I want to have a soft heart to bring him honor and glory. And I know you do too. I hope you have a great day. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Come visit me at pastorpete.org. Can't wait to see you again tomorrow.